everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a vision board. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and tune into this video because I have made multiple vision boards that have come true. And I've thought of the easiest way to make it because it could be pretty daunting. So let's get started. So to make a vision board, you're going to need a few things. You're gonna need a poster board, some glue. I usually use glue sticks, but they are out of the store, so regular glue will also do and paper, scissors, and of course, um, a printer, access to a printer to do some things. So we're gonna get to the easiest way to find these photos and get started. But first you gotta get all of these products to make sure you can have the perfect physical vision board. This year's vision board, I'm basing off the eight life areas, which in a sense, in theory, if all these things I have listed on the screen are in balance, you're gonna manifest the best life. So instead of just putting down money and business, you need to also focus on things like your spiritual development. So make sure when planning your vision board that you categorize these areas, which brings me to the next step, how to do that. Now what you're going to do is open in Google Drive a PowerPoint presentation and take all those categories and make them a page of the PowerPoint. Now, after I do that, I go to my favorite place, Pinterest, where Pinterest is like one giant vision board. And I just type in all the things in those categories I wanna find, and I just put it on each page of the PowerPoint that I made. And so you should be dragging and dropping photos on your page so it looks kind of like this. Try to space it out kind of like evenly, so ideally you can just print out each of these pages and just smack it right on your board. Now we can't forget the part that says in 2020 I am because vision boards are all about intention and we are speaking what we are into existence. Now we've printed out all of our papers so it is time to cut them all out. The majority of them should fit as a square on your vision board but if they don't just cut them out till it looks the way you want and it fits the way you want and everything should look a little bit like this right here. Now it's time to start gluing it to the board, the fun part. So I organize mine by categories, relationships in one area, business in another area, very similar to how we did the PowerPoint. And of course I put the uh, in 2020 I am in the center. Don't be afraid to get creative and also don't forget to put your intentions all over the board so you can kind of remember the basis of what you want to manifest is how you feel on the inside. Because remember, no matter what we are achieving, if we are not content with the present moment, if we are not happy with the present moment, we will never be happy with what we have no matter what it is. So be sure to put that intention into the board. Be thinking about that while you do that and make sure to put some things on it that say your quotes and intention along with the visual pictures. And don't be afraid to dream too big. Put things on you might be afraid to achieve. Just be creative. Don't hold yourself back for what you want. A vision board is something for you to look at every day and remind you of what you see and feel for yourself. And that's how you make a vision board for the new year. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below telling me what you are putting on your vision board this year. See you guys next week.